I'm a Mackham lad from a Mackham town, proud to be a Sunderland lad. Born in the town. I went on the I went on the net and I just put in uh, quite a while back and I just put in sort of Sunderland songs. What I meant by Sunderland songs was some songs about the city. And I didn't come across many, so I decided, well, I've got lots of stories to tell. I, you know, I came from a background of my dad weren't a Pyrex, also my dad was a ragman. I don't know what, if you don't know what if a ragman, he collects all the tats and everything around the area. And I had uncles and everything, who, you know, sort of work with steel erectors and stuff and in steel yards and stuff like that. Um, and there was a great history of work and I knew lots of people who worked in shipyards and down the mines and all that stuff. So I decided the best way to actually write some new songs for a new, I mean, Echo and Sun and what I knew was through my music and lyrics. And there's an out in the cupboard that you rack to sell and there's an all in David's shoe. I'm so proud. I love Big Sam, I always have like, because uh, I always, I always see football as, as a, a full team and sometimes you think the football players are on the, on, the, on the pitch of the team, but everybody's got a gel, you know, you know the backroom staff, the manager, the footballers themselves, I think. And waking up I, I mean, the Sam Allardyce is going to be the one. I just think he's got the temperament as well, um, and he doesn't take, you know, sort of weaklings very well. He, he, he tell them, you know, if you're not playing well, you're not playing. I don't care what kind of star you're off. You know, you're on the bench until you put 100 percent in, 110 percent, and I think that's what we've always wanted. Um, I think it's going to be a slow job. Um, you know, let's give him some time, let him build the team. Um, and I just think sort of it's a new area for some of that. I, I really think we can do well. And it's my kids born and I'd become a night up on a steed. I'd gallop across the I, I think because both the sides, Newcastle and Sunderland, are actually um, not doing too well at the moment. Um, once again, I think there'll be that element of over trying the two clubs. Because um, it's went on in the past, and you know that's when you sort of let yourself down because you, you know you're trying that little too hard instead of playing your football. I, I think it, you know, there could basically be a winner. I, I think there'll be a winner. I don't think it'll be a draw. Um, and obviously, I hope it's Sun and a win, um, and only because we need the three points. Um, and uh, obviously, I sort of, I think it's a hope it's going to be a great game, and all the fans get together and make the great so deer and that you know, lots of so people turn out and, um, I just hope it's the first big win for Sunderland um, and for it being a derby it's a very special time for the people of Sunderland and for Newcastle it's been going on for years and years and years um, and it's about football that's what it's about it's not about you know okay we have banter and all that but no, it's really about football communities coming together cities coming together having a great day and talking about it till the next game against each other as a derby game. So a derby game is about bringing people together. I'm so